we want today we're gonna make uh, some bread but we're gonna make actually some raisin bread um, we might even try some blueberry bread so let's see what we're gonna get uh, we're gonna use bread flour actually this is these two were left over from last time so yeah let's use it bread flour I'm gonna use some unbleached flour so we're gonna use six cups so let's put the first four Just, I think this way usually I don't really have like a professional sweeper but this works just fine I think doing it this way makes the bread you know breathe makes the flour breathe get some air you know Here's the other one so we had four before now I'm just gonna add two Of water over here, but actually, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put uh, the yeast. Uh, two teaspoons of yeast. Sugar, just uh, to help the yeast, to help the yeast, uh, you know, react a little faster. So we're just gonna put a little bit of sugar, like uh, just this much. You know, I guess the yeast is happy. It starts, uh, you know, reacting a little faster. don't like to mix uh, yeast and uh, and salt so usually I let, I let flour and the yeast react with each other get friendly with each other and then I introduce Mr. Salt. Your salt and yeast doesn't seem to uh, go along together so all right so we, uh, still sticky so we're gonna get a little bit of water uh, as much salt as you want. I don't really like so much salt. I don't like salty bread. So I'm just gonna put like a little uh, a teaspoon, maybe two. Usually for you know six cup of, of flour, two teaspoons should be okay. But you know it depends on your taste. If you feel like you know you don't need that much salt, uh, I will put a little bit of salt on. Like skip the salt altogether. Uh, this is a uh, this is like half a cup. Yeah, have a cup of water. Don't put too much water. It's gonna get all sticky on you. I'm 
gonna put some salt. Gonna put a handful. Maybe a little more. Ah, uh, this should be here. Which is locked in the water. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up together. Alright. Before we do that, actually, I'm gonna put some olive oil. 25 grams of olive oil should be good. There you go. That's 25 grams. Then we're gonna add salty water to the mix. There you go. And then mix it up. Now it's gonna get a little messier. It might look, you know, too much. But just give it a minute. It should absorb. Just fine. Don't be scared. Just relax. I'll see you in a minute. All right, I've been uh, working on this guy for the last uh, 15 minutes. You know, like this becomes a little, uh, little watery. It's like getting, you know, sticking with each other. Uh, I mean, if you have uh, the bread maker or the bread machine, you know, in four minutes you can get, you know, you can get better re results. Uh, but. I guess I'm the bread maker, so I gotta do it this way. And you know, 15 minutes, 15 minutes should be okay. And I'll get your workout for the day. And then I just turn it around. All right. Okay, there you go. It's it's a watery uh, recipe. But yeah, it's all right. We're gonna cover it. And we're gonna get back to it in an hour. See you guys. All right, this is the dough for uh, raisin bread. Let's see how it came up. All right, the fries already, and there's bubbles all over the place. So we're gonna flip it. Make sure we keep those bubbles in there. Doughy, um, really um, sticky kind of dough today. So we're gonna flip it. Like this, you know, straightens the dough. And now, one more time. another 45 minutes and we get back to it. Cover it really good. Alright, see you in 45 minutes. Now we're gonna check the dough on our raisin bread. Looks good. Alright, now we're just gonna flip it around. Keep those nice bubbles in there. So just start from the side, lift, lift it up.
against it. I'll cover it. I'm gonna give it another 30 minutes and we get back to it. Alright, see you in 30 minutes. Alright, the dough is ready. It's been 30 minutes, so we're gonna take it out. Actually, I'm gonna try to flip it in here first. Real quick. still have to put raisins and because I'm gonna be folding it so I'm not gonna use flour to uh, help me with the sticky situation actually I'm gonna use uh, olive oil I'll show you what we're gonna do so I'll put this aside for a second I'm gonna take some olive oil and put it in the board just a little bit the board. Really good. Like this nothing sticks. Actually separate the bread one for raisins one for raisin bread and one for blueberry bread Take some honey, just a little bit. All right, gonna put some uh, cinnamon. No. 
out. Now for the art part, I'm gonna try to fold this together somehow. I'm gonna put some more oil in my hand. Alright, I'm gonna start with a smaller area. Let's fold it in. Fold in. If you put oil, like I said, this is gonna be really easy to fold. If you keep up, if you, uh, if you just use your oil, it will let you deal with it really easily. Alright, now I'm just gonna get some parchment paper. Nice and tight, so just like all over the place. Pick it up. Put it. much oil because you know I don't want it to be fried bread. There you go. Alright, so I'm gonna take blueberries. These are not fresh blueberries, these are frozen blueberries that I let sit in the sun for a little bit. And then uh well, they were not ready so that's why I was like downing. I'm gonna put them in it. I just put I just put them in the microwave for a little bit. I don't have frozen frozen uh, blueberries in the bread, you know, so now they are nice and ready and they're going to cook at the same time with the bread. Just barely, barely, you know, this is, this is, let's not waste, let's not waste it, looks delicious, it's gonna give it that extra sweetness to the bread, there you go, look, look at it, looks ready to eat right now, alright, now we're just gonna wrap this, wrap it up, Try to pick 
it up without destroying everything. I'm just gonna cover it. I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, they are sitting. I'm gonna go heat up the, the I'm gonna heat up the grill. I'm gonna put these guys in the grill. All right. See you in 30 minutes. All right. So I took the ra raisin bread and the blueberry bread. I put them in the pot. Temperature around 450. So we're gonna cover it and let it sit for a good 30 minutes, 25 minutes. All right. Okay guys, I took this guy out of the, out of uh, the grill. Uh, after 20 minutes, I took the parchment paper out and I let it sit for another 10. And let's take it out. Oh, oh, hot. There you go guys, fresh bread. Well, this is raisin bread. Uh, fresh and uh, in the grill. All right, guys. In a little bit, I'm gonna go get the blueberry and see how that turned out. See you in a bit. This is the blueberry bread. I uh, had to leave it there for a little bit. It was uh, it was having a hard time cooking at the same speed as the other one. It's just because the the blueberries, you know, the blueberries kept it a little a little extra hydrated. But anyway, it's done. I give it like another. Another 20 minutes, 25, yeah, it's almost 25 minutes. But uh, it looks good. It has nice tan color. Let's take it out. Another reason it became stayed flat is, you know, too much hydration. But uh, here you go, fresh blueberry bread. I get back to you when it's time to cut it. Don't. All right, now the raisin bread. It's been sitting for a while, nice and cool. Now we're gonna cut it. See how it turns out. Enjoy. 